Hi, my name is Thomas Falzer. Now, have you ever wondered what the difference between want and desire was, and why want or wanting is bad, but desiring is okay? Anyway, uh, I I wondered, and especially since you know, I'm reading in uh, different books like creating a bug-free mind, and uh, you know some other personal development books that you know. Uh, if you want the universe will give you more wanting instead of what it is you really are after anyway so I looked them up in the dictionary and uh, this is what they say to want is to uh, fail to possess lack uh, to fall short of not enough uh, to feel or suffer the need of need or require uh, a lack of required or usual amount, shortage, um, dire need, destitution, uh, and personal defect, fault. So none of them are any good. And underneath it was wanting. I figured might as well do that as well. So under um, wanting, it says uh, not present or in evidence, absent. Uh, falling below standards or expectations, uh, lacking in ability or capacity, uh, deficient, and uh, without less and minus. So I guess after looking at them, you can kind of see why, you know, I mean, heck, that's the opposite of abundance. Now under desire, it says to long hope or wish for, to covet, uh, an expressed wish, a request, or a strong wish, longing, or craving. Now, one of the other uh, uh, programs I have is, uh, I think, uh, Make It So. And in there, it had a, a way to ask the universe for something. Um, you know, and I guess if you're religious, it's, you know, you pray and just have faith. But, you know, don't expect it on any certain date or how it's going to happen. But uh, here's a sentence that will help you. And that is, uh, wouldn't it be cool if, and then you just fill in the blank. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Um, and if you would like, you know, to get more leads for your business and how to brand you, etc., go to thomaspulzer.getmlspmastery.com. And have an awesome day. Thanks.